Hey, John with BrightGauge here, running you through a quick tutorial of the dashboard filtering feature. One of the use cases we see for this filtering feature is to filter out certain boards on the dashboard. So for example, looking here at the tech dashboard, I can see that some of this, these numbers may seem a little high, so I may want to filter down for a certain board that I really care about. The first step I would take is going to the add a filter button. Here I would then select this blue add a filter button. This opens up the dashboard filtering module. In this module you'll want to look at this bottom box. This is where the data sets live for this specific dashboard. So I'm going to close these data sets so I know how many there are. I can see there's three data sets powering this dashboard. So I want to make sure that that board field is being accounted for in all of the data sets. So I'm going to open this first one, select board, then I will open the second one and look for a field that resembles that board. I can see ticket board here. And then I will open the third and select board in that as well. Now one, once you have taken into account all of the data sets, you can come down here to the bottom. There's a value drop down. I'll open that up and this will give me all available uh, criteria inside of that field. So here I want to select the service desk and then at the top I will name this filter service desk so I know what to reference moving forward. And once I click save changes you can see that all of the gauges on this dashboard are now being filtered out for the data found on that service desk board and you know that you did that filtering correctly as long as every gauge on the dashboard has this green filter icon in the top right corner as you see here. Now if you have any further questions please feel free to open a ticket with our support team.